got my coffee started. Time to start the day. It's kind of early for most people, 4 o'clock. I managed to squeeze my schedule around a little bit so I can be awake during the day. That's the problem with working graveyard. Uh, you really do pay for it because it sort of enervates you um, when you try to do things during the day. <laughs> um, yes, it's more money, and yes, I have a greater choice of uh, which branch of my company I work for. I can go in various different places, uh, but on day shift, I don't have enough seniority to get like uh, like a close uh, a close branch. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so if I, when the time comes when I buy my house, which I'm still saving for, I'm going to have to uh, bite the bullet and commute farther and work during the day because, because I don't know if I'd be able to do everything I want to do if I'm on graveyard. Um, yeah, I'll have to consider that. Well, quick note about my supposedly immortal tomato plants, uh, which I've been wintering over from uh, last summer. Uh, the vining tomato plant is too sick. I'm not going to reuse it. It's just, uh, it's got too much fungus on its leaves and it's just too, too weak. Um, the bush style tomato plant here is still I mean, has got some new growth on it, probably because of those coffee grounds I threw in. Uh, but apparently, it the vining tomato plant just couldn't quite handle it. So I'm going to try reusing this one this year, and see what kind of growth I've got. Out, I get out of it, and I'm going to do the composting tomato plant uh, thing as well. But I'm going to. For the vining one, I'm going to have to just go down to the hardware store and buy another one. This, of course, is Gigantor. It is a, <laughs> it's an aloe plant, and it, uh, it's supposed to be good for burns. I bought it when it was like six inches tall in a tube from Amazon.com, and uh, that was about eight a year ago, maybe two years ago, and it has uh, grown since then. <laughs> I don't know if you can trim these things back, but uh, it's getting to be a bit obnoxious. Uh, it seems to be good in the undergrowth uh, part. It must be an undergrowth plant because uh, uh, it's doing fine even with winter sunlight and the four hours a day that I that my timer turns this grow light on. So, uh, so it's doing pretty good. But anyway, my thing for today is I have got to get this. Uh, P7100 fuel pump installed in that engine. <laughs> I mean, I've been putting it off for way too long and I've been without a bug out vehicle. I mean, well, it would take about four hours to do it if I really hurried. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, I really got to get it together so that that thing's ready to roll at a moment's notice. So that's my project for the day. So, uh, oh, my question, one of the questions I wanted to ask, uh, uh, basically, you know, all that hysteria about Fukushima <coughs> and people who are like <coughs> not preppers or anything, people like, uh, um, you know, just anybody, uh, we're looking at all the radiation and then frantically trying to buy up the, uh, the radiation meters. <laughs> well, uh. Now it's been about a year or so since Fukushima, and I suspect the the hysteria has dropped away a little bit. So um, maybe now would be a good time to uh, to pick up a, a some kind of meter. I mean, it would be a good thing to add add to your preps, I believe. So, I mean, I've already got the iodine pills. <laughs> I probably could have sold those for a night for a hefty profit on eBay a year ago. But um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'd like to get a dose meter, one of those little things you stick on your on your shirt, and I would also like to get a uh, a survey meter, you know, the type with the little wand you hold out, you know. Um, so basically, I was wondering if uh, anybody here on among my subscribers uh, knows a good source or a good brand. I'd hate to end up 
wasting my money on garbage. You know, I want to get a something that's good, high quality, and then uh, and then just something that'll store a long time because <laughs> I might not need it for 20 years. Hopefully, I would never need it, but uh, it might be a good thing to have. So. Um, any ideas on brands? Because uh, I don't even know what to shop for. I used to use an what they call an ANPDR27 back in the military, um, but it's been a long time, and that's like a big clunky thing with a analog meter and whatnot. I don't know. Might be EMP proof, <laughs> but uh, does anybody have any of those meters and uh, have any information? Uh, as to what would be the best one to buy um, right about now. Um, so that's my question. Any Anybody out there is welcome to give me some advice. I'd be happy to get it. So I'll, I'll let you go. Later. <laughs>